Have you ever wondered why, no matter what restaurant you go to, the experience is usually smooth and seamless? That's because, whether you've thought about it or not, the entire process is broken down into a series of steps. It doesn't matter what sort of food you're eating, how much you're paying, or where you live, the steps of service are all pretty much the same. Greet the table and get drinks, take the food order, deliver the food, check that the food came out correctly, pre-bust the table, and deliver the check. The first step is to greet the table. As you walk over to the table, quickly evaluate what kind of dining experience these guests are looking for. Are they a bunch of friends out on the town? Are they young parents with a fussy child? Did they just come from a funeral? Or are they on a first date? Tailor your greeting to the situation. If they're having lots of fun, use a big smile and an enthusiastic greeting. But if it looks like they're engaged in a serious business discussion, keep it short and simple. Just remember that no matter how rushed you feel, always slow down and take a moment to genuinely welcome the new guests. A smile will immediately let your table warm up to you and relax, knowing that you are going to be a great server. Next, bring drinks. Get those drinks out as soon as possible, because they help your guests feel at home. The food order is next on the agenda, and the server will direct the ordering process. Imagine ordering as an intersection with a broken speed light. You need to direct the traffic, so don't be shy. Also, if the table looks like they might want to split the check, for example, two couples or a group of friends, this is a good time to ask. Next, bring the food. Don't walk up to the table and ask, who had the roast chicken? Instead, know what seat number the food is going to and say, the roast chicken, no asparagus, miss. It's best to refill drinks and set out the condiments before the food comes out. So once you place the food on the table, guests have everything they need and can start eating immediately. Don't forget to warn a guest if their plate is hot. A few minutes later, do a quick two-minute, two-bite check back. Once they've had a chance to take a couple of bites, ask them how everything is going. This gives them an opportunity to perhaps ask for more mustard or point out something that's missing from their order. Failing to check back on a table after they have their food can ruin a guest's experience. So if you don't have time to immediately check back, ask a coworker to do it for you. This is also a great time to mention dessert. Say something like, our molten chocolate cake goes great with a cup of coffee after dinner. Be sure to ask about dessert before clearing the entree plates, because at that point, the guest may feel ready to leave. While your guests eat, it's time to start pre-bussing. Pre-bussing means clearing the table while guests are still seated. You can clear trash, like small wrappers, unused glasses, side plates, or smaller dishes from the table throughout the meal. But be careful. Clearing dirty entree plates too soon can make the others at the table feel rushed and uncomfortable. Instead, wait until all the guests have finished eating, or until they've requested to-go boxes. If you have more than four people at a table, ask an available coworker, such as another server or busser, to help you clear plates. The only thing that should be left after each course are any glasses still in use. Don't wait to be asked for the check. While the guests are finishing their dessert, set the check in a central place on the table, unless someone has specifically asked for it. Tell them that you are setting it there for their convenience and to take their time. If they turn down dessert, go ahead and leave the check at that point. Thank your table sincerely and let them know you're looking forward to them coming back soon. We want all our customers to be repeat customers. Let them know if the restaurant is doing anything special in the near future, like hosting a wine tasting or releasing a new menu. Or, if a nearby venue will be hosting some event soon, let them know about it and then encourage them to drop by the restaurant while they're in the area. Knowing what's going on in and around your restaurant is a great way to get customers coming back for more.